Alright everybody, and this is well, the GBDXD Surf for the video quality. I'm currently recording with the ZTE Quartz, which I'm also doing a review on, so I thought two birds, one stone. Next, or should we say, re not review, but a testing of the GPD. Um, also, this is a construction 2 video due to the fact that we will actually be testing out an application on this because this is literally like my... 2DS, uh, sorry, 2DS, this is literally just like it except for the bottom screen. So I have a ZeldaCon, and we're going to be playing that. Okay, so we got to start, and yeah, let's go up a bit, there we go. That's touch screen, now I'm going to show you guys. It moves with D-pad and with the joystick. And you don't need, I thought you would have to change stuff for the, um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, the D-pad, apparently you don't. Apparently it doesn't actually register it with the D-pad controls on uh, Construct 2. Yes, I know he's walking on the house. I haven't enabled stuff. I've been really busy with finals, guys, so I just got around to doing this today just to see. Uh, so I, I literally built the file with D-pad controls. I changed everything for D-pad, and apparently I didn't need to do that. All I needed to do was keep it on PC, like um, arrow controls, and I was fine. And for some reason, this registers too. So... Wow, so you don't even need to do anything. I was going to do a whole tutorial process on how to change it for D-pad and how to test it and everything. You literally don't. Um, I, I literally spent like an hour just wasting time. So I'm keeping this for PC controls because apparently when I export it to Android, it does work. What I'm going to be working on around finals now, guys, is enabling all the uh, like collision boxes so you literally can't walk off the bridge. Um, also I came up a name with this for this, so we say mini game, oh uh, yeah, you just, it will, okay, there we go, is that, uh, it's going to be called Zelda the Overshield, in which you need to actually get some sort of, like, magical shield, which will protect the land from darkness, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing, uh, getting a whole bunch of sprites, Setting up a little mi micro storyline, fixing some of the controls. As you can see, they're not perfectly working, but they are good working. Also, guys, if you know of any sort of like Android device that looks like a Game Boy, like the Game Boy Advance or the original Game Boy, please smash this down below. I've actually been looking for one. Even if it does run an older version of Android, I'm actually quite interested in getting out my hands on one. Um, so yeah, guys, also I'll be putting out within the next day or two some testing on the GPD. So that would be CPU and GPU testing along with FPS test. I just want to make sure, uh, like, I've been running a Unreal benchmark tester to see what the average FPS is going to be on that. So I will run it again and again and again. I'll run several games until it overheats. And then I will run the test again. So far, the, the FPS test has been really, really average at around 53, 55. Um, so that's actually been really, really good at ultra high mobile textures. And then I'll be running some of my own benchmarking uh, programs that I've made uh, just to like check out desktop based textures on a mobile platform to see how it goes and then step down from there. So yeah, guys, don't do anything. If you've downloaded the file, um, you don't have to mess with anything. I'm actually going to put it down below again just to make sure you guys, you know, have the exact file. So just leave your PC settings exactly where they are. We may put some gamepad controls to see whether they're going to work, uh, like the left and right shoulder buttons. And if those work, we'll, we'll switch those. And then I'll just put in a whole bunch of collision boxes and some NPC characters, and we'll move on from there. Uh, inventory is going to be actually one of the first beginning things, so it's not going to be like the next episode, but it should be one of the first ones to uh, within like the first 10 um, this series is not going to be huge, 
Uh, it's not going to be like 50 or 60 videos. It's literally going to be a pretty short one. I just want to make sure that you guys are getting, uh, that you guys are understanding it. Um, so yeah, hopefully you like this multi-part video. This is a video test of the Z, uh, ZTE Quartz uh, running at 720. It maxes out at 720, so it cannot record at 1080. So at 720, um, video is okay-ish in semi-low light. Hopefully you like the GPD. Uh, running a Construct 2 Android game uh, or a fan game of a pretty basic fan game of Zelda. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.